What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Tay Serious coming back again with another video. And as you can see by the title, we'll be reacting to when posting all your crimes to Snapchat comes back to haunt you. Make sure y'all stay off that bad social media. The bad side of social media. Make sure y'all stay off the bad side. But let's get right into it. 2023. As a Marquette County Sheriff's deputy concluded a traffic stop, he noticed an approaching vehicle in Westfield, Wisconsin. With his windows down, he could clearly hear the vehicle approaching due to its faulty exhaust system. Additionally, the vehicle had a few brake lamps that were not working. The driver was later identified as an 18-year-old male named Dominic, whom so deputies young. were well acquainted with, particularly through his social media activity. The sheriff's office became aware of Dominic when he first moved into Marquette County earlier in the year. Another law enforcement agency outside the county alerted them that Dominic was publicly posting on Snapchat via the heat map feature. Some of these public Snapchat posts depicted Dominic smoking marijuana and brandishing a firearm with a laser light while making derogatory remarks about law enforcement. Furthermore, he frequently posted requests for info on how to obtain large amounts of marijuana and made numerous mentions of selling the drug. Given oh, that these posts goodness. were publicly accessible to anyone on Snapchat, the sheriff's office decided to save copies of the videos as evidence. On one occasion, while conducting nah, surveillance near his residence, but a deputy observed Dominic damn. recording a Snapchat video of the deputy's vehicle parked in a nearby parking lot. Wait, what? Recording occasion, while conducting surveillance near his residence, a deputy observed Dominic recording a Snapchat video of the deputy's vehicle parked in a in a nearby parking lot. Dominic then proceeded to share the video on Snap Maps, along with more anti-law enforcement comments. Upon initiating a traffic stop, Dominic had accelerated at a high rate of speed and turned off his headlights. Going back towards the village. Never Lawrence. do that. That's illegal. 212, I'm with him. I'm going to call it. Eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Northbound Spring, Northbound Spring. Hey, yo, the cop just ran a stop sign. They were soon able to obtain the registration of the vehicle, which was linked to Dominic. Northbound on Eagle approaching fifth. Northbound Eagle approaching fifth. Uh, I believe that's going to be that. Dominic revoked license. Uh, why don't you at the next cross here turn off? But uh, keep going for now. Uh, when you break, go towards the house if you can. I got primary doing? northbound eagle from a northbound eagle from a throughout the pursuit he consistently ignored multiple stop signs turning off his lights and maintaining speeds well above the limit northbound eagle from a catching up to the vehicle speeds 90. Two twelve, two nineteen. What was your reason for stop? Equipment violation, flat exhaust, and uh, light violation. Got uh, four plus plates not matching the vehicle. Affirmative. He blacked out or when he turned on the uh, parking there. Notified Adams in Washera County. No traffic. Two twelve, market. Uh, vehicle is blacked out again. No traffic. Westbound first half. By the way, we're in Adams County if you want to let him know. By observing Dominic through the rear car window and clearly seeing his face in the rear view mirror, the deputy confirmed that Dominic was indeed the operator. <laughs> Marquette going through the stop sign of E County E and first. Boom. No traffic. Continuing westbound into Adams County. Two twelve Marquette North. Imagine you like accidentally drowned to a dead end. That was sick. Or is this headed back into Marquette County or west into Adams? 
Country 12 our kids. We are west on first towards Ember. I'm going to get up to this next cross street and then probably terminate. Current speed is 73. You're right on them. <coughs> What's your traffic volume up there? There's no traffic. If I'm approved to continue, we're northbound on Ember right now. He's blacked out. Slow speed. We got one vehicle. We are northbound on Ember. One vehicle. Uh, we got another one oncoming. His lights are back out again. I'm right behind him. At about 73. We're behind 44, 212. I'm still behind you. I'm trying to catch up. Speed's about in the between 70 and 72. Why do you keep turning his lights uh, on, on and off? On and off. His lights on, on and off. Because of his reckless driving in the presence of other vehicles, it was decided to terminate the pursuit. I am going to terminate here, stand by for the next cross. I have terminated right at the intersection of Ember and G. George. Vehicle continued westbound on Ember into Adams County towards the tracks. I'm going to post up here for about 10 more seconds, and then I'll continue on Ember to check for any accidents near the railroad tracks. You see that guy? Yeah, we were just chasing them for about 15, 20 miles, so, yeah. So, I know, that's why we're terminating. We chased them for a good probably 20 minutes already. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. 212, 218, where are you calling? I mean, at least they knew it was him. Yeah, I've got a pretty seat. good visual on him. I'm very familiar with who he is from the previous case. I will definitely have charges for him, but uh, if we could set up, maybe just uh, wait for him to try to come back. We know where he is. We'll take him into custody then. Check in the area for in any 1050s volumes on code. This is that subject I sent the officer safety ATL about. He's the one that's always on the Westfield Snapchat stories, posting him smoking weed and he's known to carry a 1032 for 43. Oh. Approximately an hour later, while the deputy was patrolling the area, he noticed a pickup truck with an excessively loud exhaust drive past him. The deputy managed to capture the license plate, which belonged to an individual residing in the same apartment complex as Dominic. Additionally, it seemed that there were multiple occupants in the vehicle. Considering these factors, along with the fact that the vehicle was heading from the area where Dominic was last seen, deputies opt to initiate a high-risk traffic stop. There's a male in the back seat of that vehicle behind the driver. Two tall more cat. Oh, imagine that's how you talk right now. Two twenty-five. Stay at the rest. Driver, turn it off. Step out. Step out. Keep your hands where you can see them. Take the keys with you. Take the keys with you. Take the keys with you. Let me see your hands. Come back. Okay, you're not who we're after. Just keep coming back this way. Who's in the truck with you? Okay, he's in the, Colin, he's in the truck. Come back this way. That's all right. That's the whole point of the lights. You got any weapons on you? No. Okay, come back towards me. Oh, is that CC carrier in PA? Okay, come back here. Come back here. Where'd you pick up at tonight? Can I sit on my tailgate? You can sit on my tailgate. No, I can't sit. It'll hurt. I got to... Step out with your hands up! We got a K-9 if you run, you will be- When Dominic was asked to exit, he immediately claimed that his vehicle had been stolen uh, without so I know any prior right. questioning about its status. Show me your f***ing hands! Show me your hands! You are under arrest! Step back! I'm complying! I'm complying! You weren't earlier when you were running, so step back! Sir, my car was stolen! No, it wasn't! I saw you in it! Step back! Step back! Uh -huh. Watch Watch that bad man! Watch him! Walk back here! Shut up and listen! Walk backwards! No, you make bro. any stupid no. moves, my dog will bite you! Do you understand? understand. Watch him. It's gonna be your opportunity so you don't get yourself in trouble to talk to us when we're done, just so you know. Good boy. Yeah, give him out. Watch him. Boy. I said it's gonna be your opportunity to talk with us so you don't get in trouble. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Stop. Don't make any moves. We have a K9. Dominic thought he was free. Don't mess around when it comes to running up here. I saw you in the driver's seat. I have it on video. I don't need to talk with you just so you know. Okay? What do you got on you? Hmm, interesting. Listen, just hear me out, okay? I, I don't need to. Hear don't me out. Jetta. I don't need to. It's, I already saw you. It's wired You're right running. to the start or something. You can see it's got to push the start. If you go find it, it's got to push You can argue the with the video. You can argue with the video. That's fine. I have it. We have a lot of video cameras here. Okay, 
first Illinois. You're under arrest, so. Puss, go boy. Can I talk to Jay before I nope. go? Nope. All right. So I haven't seen Mr. Ron in a small town. Oh, you got him. Get up there. Go boy. So this is going to be your opportunity to so you don't get in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, we saw him. Yes, I got man. Yes, I got dog. Driving that vehicle and he ran for us. The Volkswagen. Because you picked him up. You picked him up. And so it's your your cooperator. That's my girlfriend. My son is in there. You're transporting a felon right now. They did not have Okay. Where did you pick him up at? In Adams. Okay. And why did he have you come pick him up there? He said that his car was broke down. Okay. Who else is in the vehicle? Okay. My son is in there. Baby, don't let him take him. So is this your truck? That's my father's. Please, that's my son. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble tonight for what he did earlier. That's, that's why. I, that's why I told you straight up. So I told you straight up. If you, we know what happened. Yeah. And you're the one that's transported him. Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. I would have never went and got him. Okay. All right. I'm straight up. I don't know where his vehicle is at the moment. Okay. I picked him up at a police cell. Okay. I'll let you walk out back to the truck so you can get a little bit more comfy, all right? Thank you so much. I do need to grab your ID, though, okay? Do you need help? No, no, no. It's... So I'm just going to be honest with you. If I find out that you're lying to me, I will arrest you and charge you with obstructing, and your kid will go to social services. Do you understand me? Mm. I've been in situations like this. Okay. When I was a kid, I was around on a four-wheeler, slid off it. Okay. Broke a bone in my back, and it never grew in or anything. Did he send any messages to you at all about what transpired tonight? His phone is off, and so is mine. So how did he call you? Uh, the house phone. He must have asked somebody. Any weapons in the vehicle? No. Any drugs in the vehicle? So if I deploy my dog, the dog's not going to alert to anything in the vehicle. No. Mr. Is that true? What's that? If I deploy my dog around the vehicle for a free air sniff, he's not going to alert to anything in the vehicle? I don't think so. Shouldn't. Well, I know that. When you went and picked him up from the four-way in Grand Marsh, was his black vehicle there? I didn't see it. It's too dark for me. I can barely see at night. So how did he call to get a ride? He called from his buddy's house. Can I get in the car? You can hold the keys. I'm not going nowhere. Well, I know you're not going anywhere. Hey, Deputy Zimmer over in Marquette County. I'm looking to see if you're, one of your deputies could go check a uh, residence for me. Yep, he made a poor decision tonight. I'm sorry for you guys coming out here like that. No, that's, that's why I told you. I'm straight up trying to give you the benefit of the doubt because, like I said, I have him on video. Yeah. And if you guys start to try to lie on his behalf, that's when you start looking up a criminal, a tree here. So that's why I, I gave you that warning before we did anything yeah. else because I, I mean it when I say it. But like, there's no tricks here. I, yeah. Oh, and she's underage, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's his other half. Mm -hmm. we, we know everybody that gives us problems up here. I'm looking to see if one of your guys can go out there and see if the suspect vehicle from our pursuit is out there. We have him in custody. Someone went and picked him up and we got him stopped here in our county. Oh, he's going to have a uh, second degree or reckless danger and safety. Hopefully mm. elude. He's got an open case right now for disorderly conduct, so he's going to have bail jumping. A um, bunch of traffic tickets. I got to see if it's still open. I just know he has a risk, yeah. He posted his cash bond, though, so that would be bail jumping for it because he committed another crime. Mm -hmm. And it's really dumb of him when we know who he is because he likes to flaunt his stuff on social media, which I'm going to go back to my squad. I'm going to show him all the pictures we have saved of him. So, Hi, bud. Let's go. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm letting you know. I mean, stay clear. We know. I know this truck. The reason I stopped this truck was because I know this is parked right at your apartment complex there. I, I know there's a high probability that he's inside of it. <laughs> There's no when you're when you're in a small county. It's just that's just how it is. I just say we close the door and I'll. Okay. There is a. Mm, how old is he in here? Yep, that's fine. Put your arm in the vehicle. Here, it's the garage. Oh wait, positive alert. Just be honest with me. What are we gonna find in the vehicle? I don't know. I don't do any drugs. Okay. Well, he smell. He reeks of weed. So. He does. Yeah, he does. Was on the back That's tailgate area. So. Me, though. Right. Know. Okay. Well. Are you able to somewhere just for his pain and everything? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Driver said that he got called. Said that his vehicle broke down. He needed to ride back home. So I'm pick him up. Well, driving the way he was driving, I don't like know. in these situations, that broke down. And the best part is this: I have him on video because yeah. I can clear his day. Tell who he is. Okay. Love it. <laughs> If anyone told you what's going on, so your boyfriend led four of us on a high-speed pursuit through Marquette County, through the village of Westfield, and out into Adams County. Um, so he's going to jail right now for felony eluding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at with that. Okay. Um, do he have anything on him, or do you have anything on you? No. Because the dog alerted the vehicle, so I'm going to be searching everything in the vehicle. He gave it to me. You can ask him. It's his. It's marijuana. Oh, okay. It's his. 
Perfect. Where am I getting transported to? You're getting transported to the Marquette County Jail. It's over in Montana, correct? Sure is. Is he running weed? I mean, there's... No. Oh, absolutely not. I know no. that for sure. You sure about that? Yeah, no, absolutely. So all the sh that he posts on the snap map and everything else about... Yeah, no. He uses that recreationally. He doesn't. He doesn't know I'm... I swear to you, he doesn't. Because the sh that he posts on the snap map, I mean, come on. Yeah, that, we we can know. agree that that's on not the a snap map. map. And I'd be willing to bet that if I went to oh, like to get a search warrant. Know the terminology for court for a search warrant for your house right now. Nothing there. No. So he probably delivered all of it wherever it was going. He doesn't sell. I'm telling you straight up. Hey, He's see, asking for people. That's the thing about them officers. They're going to try and get you to lie. Regardless. They're going to try and get you to lie about any and everything that you can. Just tell the truth. You sell the shoe or wait till you get to a turn. But tell the truth in this situation. Buy from him on the snap map. I don't have him. I don't check snap map. I don't. I barely use Snapchat. I'm not on my phone ever. I mean, he's posting. He's posting this to the public. Like when you guys were at campground. Yeah. What did you post then? He was soliciting people to buy dope from him. Really? Yeah. Well, I have no idea. We're very familiar with him. He's making comments about popping cops and doing all this other stuff on there, too, about having oh. firearms. He, there's pictures of him oh with the firearm gosh, on the bro. There was. On He's the snitched on himself, I literally. Have, I honest to God have no. So, so the cop obviously, we have the, the marijuana issue. Unless the cop is lying, he snitched on himself. What else is in the vehicle? Like I said, I don't want to go move your baby and all this stuff because if, if I have to, we're going to be getting yeah. human services I mean, involved and everything there's else. There's nothing that I know of. Okay. Dominic's vehicle was eventually located by a neighboring sheriff's office. Adams County's out with that vehicle. Who's ever the least involved if they want to head over to where they found it and follow it back to impound. <laughs> How are we doing? Great, love this. I see like they put their guns in there. Like, I wonder was there ever like a town where somebody got shot in a jail? Mm-hmm. We're taking your car. Yep. Couple. Hi there. Mm-hmm. We're taking your car. Yep. Couple things to remember is just uh, one. The second you moved up here, I put out an officer safety bulletin because you like to flash your gun around Snapchat for some stupid reason. Okay. I have pictures of you from social media doing stupid stuff. All this stuff is saved. All this stuff's gonna be in the cloud. All right. We know where you live, but I know you're gonna be in that truck. Exactly. We know everything about you. I could see in the back of the car. I could see yeah. it when I was looking through your rear view mirror that it was you. I'm not BSing you when I say I, I have everything I need. That's why I don't need to talk with you. I'm letting you know from a standpoint from us, when you come up to a county where we will chase you for any reason, as long as we need to, the only reason I stopped was because I knew who you were, and I didn't want to go too far in the other county and leave my guys, you know, stranded to handle calls by themselves. I want you to know all this stuff for your benefit, because you still have a chance to possibly turn this around, all right? I mean, this is all stuff that you could have gotten away with when you lived in Watertown. Not here, all right? Sure. I'm, I'm not joking with you. Like, I know everything about you from the second you moved up here. And the reason was is because I have connections all around the state. And they said, hey, this guy's up your way. Here's all of his social media stuff. I said, great. Sent that, all that wow. stuff out to the department. Easy peasy. When we have problems with people or we have people that cause us problems, we know everything about them. So we only have 17,000 people here, okay? So I'm just letting you know that from your own standpoint from moving forward. I know you got fired from Breakbush last Is week. It 17 I know or 17? I'm just letting you know that from your own We know everything about them. So we only have 17,000 people here, okay? So I'm just letting you know that from your own standpoint from moving forward. I know you got fired from Breakbush last week. I know everything, okay? I'm not joking with you, Bro, okay? I don't, I don't, I'm very straightforward. Sometimes it rubs people the wrong way. I let people know exactly everything I know. There's no secrets with me, you know? And you know I'm not BSing you when I'm telling you this stuff. <laughs> So, and I don't, and I can't even put this in any court of law or anything because you're in custody technically. I'm just doing it more or less for your benefit, for my benefit, to hopefully not have any more problems with you. What's it? So right now, what he's booking you in on is felony flea looting, felony second degree reckless endangering safety. Possession of the THC, I believe you're still on bond, so it'll be bail jumping. I have to confirm your DFC record because I know you've had problems in the past with driving to see what your L at license status wise. The two big ones are the felony flea and eluding. And because, I mean, I'm guessing that uh, you probably see the YouTube videos when people are turning off headlights and stuff and driving the opposite lane travel. That doesn't change anything we do. So that's why the second degree reckless lane endangering safety is on there because we're still going whether you do that or not. And you're endangering everybody else on the roadway. So those are the you're only two felonies that you got. Off. The others are just misdemeanors for now. Okay? You're not turning them lights off.
Dominic was charged with felony vehicle fleeing eluding an officer. Misdemeanor counts of reckless driving, endangering safety, second offense, and bail jumping. He also received multiple citations totaling over $700 and was released a few days later on a $250 cash bond. About oh, five months nothing. later, Dominic was found guilty, but only for the reckless driving charge. The other charges were dismissed, but remained on record. Additionally, all citations except one were dismissed. So he got with a misdemeanor? Ultimately, he was sentenced to 30 days in county jail, which will be served consecutively to any other sentence he might have. Visit code. Oh, wow. 30 days in jail. Not a felon. Can buy a gun if you want to, you know what I mean? Travel out of the country, you know what I mean? Not a felon. It was just nothing but traffic stops. He wasn't dis distributing marijuana. He wasn't hard drugs. So, honestly, my advice would just be to tune down on the streets in the vehicle, I guess, man. What? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Once you subscribe, don't forget the bell. Uh, I am streaming on Kick, so follow me on Kick at T E X A S Chris C H R I S. And speaking of Texas Chris, we're about to sign out. So, peace.